sure we'll start you off over here. Um, how are your preparations over the off season? How do you feel coming into this week? Hello, everybody. Nice to see you all again. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that my uh, off season started pretty well, and uh, I did everything what I need to do. I think I was trying to improve everything on my tennis and my fitness, especially as well. And uh, yeah, I've been one of the luckiest one who could uh, be out for five hours. So it's been uh, good to be out definitely and to have a little bit of practice and get used to the surface and, and the ball and everything. So I'm looking forward uh, definitely for the matches. It's pretty long time which I played my last match in Paris. So um, yeah, it will be nice to be back on the court. All right, uh, do we have any English questions in the room? Maybe beneficial for you, just mentally and maybe physically. Well, I think it was my longest off season and longest preparation I ever have in my career. So um, I will still see, but uh, definitely it's good that uh, you know I'm not over overplayed or over you know everything what I did in the off season. Um, I took some time off after Paris uh, and uh, then I started. And obviously at the beginning we were planning to go here in the middle of December, so that was our original plan and. Afterwards, it was kind of tough to change it, so I just stepped. I just went still going and practicing and, and everything. So until the time we we left here, and um, hopefully it will be beneficial. Yeah, of course. Three <laughs> unprecedented um, circumstances playing in a pandemic, but do you think your experience can kind of give an advantage and help you cope with the challenges um, of playing? In a pandemic, yeah, and I mean, we already have as experienced last year uh, playing in a pandemic, which we've been in a bubble all the time, um, playing without the fans, being very sad. So I'm really looking forward to have a fans back here. Um, I think that you know it's different for everybody, and uh, in the some ways, I found uh, some good positive things on everything as I'm always trying. So. Um, yeah, I still will try to look everything nicely. All right, great. Anything else in English in the room? Now we'll move virtual online. Just a reminder to those of you online, if you do have a question for Petra, please use the raise your hand function in the toolbar and to also turn your camera on. Courtney, do you have a question by chance for Petra? Hey, Courtney. Hey, Petra. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Good. Um, how has it felt just um, initially, just kind of being out of quarantine and, and being able to, yeah, just uh, live normally for at least, what is it, 24, 48 hours now? Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, yeah, and what's your focus now in terms of what the keys are to preparing to, to get back into competition? Well, first of all, it's uh, it feels very weird to live normal life after a year, I would say. Um, you know, it's kind of weird to walk in the city and see all the people and have a restaurants open, and it's uh, it's it's a little alive. So that's that's very nice to see, definitely. And uh, actually, we spent almost whole day outside, so that's been very great. We've been running outside as well, and, and so, so we really enjoyed it a lot. And of course, the tournament is coming soon, so for me, and uh, um, I, for sure I will take it as a preparation. Um, that's no doubt about it, and I will see how many matches I could, I could play. But uh, um, I'm really looking forward to, the matches are different to practice it, so I really need to, you know, have a couple of them, but uh, I will see how everything will go. And uh, um, yeah, it's just about the matches right now. Reem from the National, please ask your question. Hi, Petra. Hello. Uh, Petra, you mentioned that you already have the experience of playing during, uh, during a pandemic from last year. I'm wondering, when you were preparing for this season or looking to 2021, what are some of the things that you maybe uh, will watch out for this year, uh, knowing what you know of what the experience is like on tour during the pandemic? Is there anything you feel that you maybe struggled with a bit that you will watch out for or anything like that? Um, 
Well, I think I, I found out probably uh, in those tournaments playing without the fans that it's more up to me, I would say, that uh, I still have to, you know, pump, my, pump myself all the time and not, you know, to be more relaxed uh, because the fans can pump me up. So that's probably the biggest things would I find out in uh, the preparation of the tournament before the US Open in Cincinnati. And, uh, then it's for me it was uh, of course it's more tougher but on the hand uh, it's more up to me so that's a good sign as well of it and um, yeah that's probably the main one and just to follow up on Courtney's question what is the first thing that you did with your freedom in Melbourne is there a go-to place for you or is anything they usually like to do as soon as you get to Melbourne that you finally were able to do um yeah, for the dinner, we've been in the München restaurant, which is, of course, German restaurant, which is very close to Czech. Um, Florian is German, so we really enjoyed the time over there. And when I've been um, in the final here uh, two years ago, we've been there every night before my match. So uh, it was a, um, nice memories to be there out again. Thank you. Paul from The Independent. Next question, please. Hi, Petra. Hello. Uh, Petra, I, I know that your season has not started yet, but I wonder if I could ask you about something later in the year, the Olympic Games, which will be important for many people. You, you've played in two Olympics in the past. What is, um, what is it like playing in, the, in, the, in an Olympic tennis tournament compared with any, any other events? How different is it to playing at the Australian Open or to playing at Wimbledon, for example? Well, first of all, I um, I hope that the Olympics really will happen, uh, for sure. Um, it's a great event, not only for tennis players, but of course for everybody. And I know that for tennis players are a little bit different because we have our peaks during the year. We have four of them. Uh, but for me, Olympics games are very important as well. Um, for me, it's like a fifth Grand Slam. So I really uh, wanted to be part of it uh, this year. And uh, it's uh, just different because you are playing for your country. And you have, uh, you know, the support from your fellow athletes, of your uh, colleagues from the from Czech, and uh, probably that's why the tennis was that successful in the Rio. We had three uh, medalists, and uh, you know, the other athletes always came to us and and watch us and support us, and that was really probably the best what I ever experienced from from the Olympics. So it's been great, and uh, I hope it uh, will be very very similar. But, but but is it more difficult at the Olympics to focus on the tennis? Because when you're when you're in Melbourne, you're there for the tennis. That is the big thing. But when you're at the Olympics, there's a lot else happening. It is, of course, but you are still there because you wanted to do the best of your sport, and uh, of course that you have to be still focusing. Um, that's how my experience is. Uh, unfortunately, in London, we have been staying in the Wimbledon village, so I didn't really have an experience from the, you know, from the village. Uh, but uh, in Rio, of course, uh, you know, every day we've been sitting with the other, other athletes and talking about some other things, and as well about the sport and mental side of the sport. So it was very uh, interesting for me, and um, definitely, I was there just for you know the medal and uh, that's why I didn't go for the opening ceremony as well um, so yeah I think you are still there because you have to focus on your sport but uh, of course the other things are nice too but you have to find a balance of course about it thank you okay thank you everyone and thank you Petra that concludes thank you conference.